Hello guys! Welcome back to the channel. Um, I don't have much of an intro today. I just figured I'd sit down and do a get ready with me, play with some stuff that could use some love. It makes me feel good. Hopefully at home it makes you feel good and I'm just gonna chat with you guys. Um, life is really weird right now and uh, yeah, if there's one thing that kind of keeps me going, it's creative things, it's makeup. So yeah, I just, uh, I'm gonna sit down and do some makeup today. I'm not gonna really talk too much about the product part, it's more just like what's on my mind, how I'm doing, things that have helped me get going, things I've noticed out in the community, whatever. Um, but if you have any questions, all of the products will be listed below. And uh, I do plan to do like an updated everyday makeup routine for you guys. This probably won't be every day. Um, excuse me. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down and play with makeup. So that's that. So uh, yeah, let's start off. I'm actually gonna start off with my foundation um, and do that first. And my, probably my primer. I don't know, I haven't done my makeup in over a week. Um, I was sent home from my full-time job probably two weeks ago already. Um, and then they put out the whole thing about non-essential employees and that whole thing. So then I was home by myself for an entire week before my husband actually got sent home from work too. Um, cause his job was just kind of trying to figure out what was best for them as far as keeping them there, letting them go home at first. He works in more of the IT world, but for a law firm. Um, so a lot of stuff legally still needs to go on and people need to know how to use their computers and their phones and documentation. So it was different for him. Um, but we are both home now. We are working from our dining room. We have a big dining table downstairs and I'm on one end with my computer and he's on the other hand end and we're working from home. My birds. Right now, disclaimer right now, I took my hair out. Um, I had to crochet like the, um, my, you know, my locks in and I took them out so my hair could breathe and this is what we're dealing with for hair. So this is my um, Corona Glam. You're gonna have to deal with that. I don't know. I'm saying it like you have to, I'm the one that's got to deal with it and it's fine. I really don't, it doesn't bother me that much. I'm in the house, right? So yeah. So yeah, we're working from home right now. Um, it's been fine. My husband actually worked from home for years from his last job. So I feel like that's not that shocking for us to like work from home. Um, and we used to actually work at, we bought an old dining table and use that as a desk and had our stuff on either side when I would do editing or freelance stuff and he would work from home. So it's actually like not that big of a shock for us. I know a lot of people are going stir crazy at home. I can't say that that's where we are. Um, we're fine. I mean, at the end of the day, do we want to do nothing but like sit and watch TV after sitting and like being on our computer the whole time? Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like it's not shell shocking for us, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, by the way, little tip I've been loving is taking the Pretty Fresh Color Pop Hyaluronic Acid Spray, spraying it on my face. I opened my eyes too soon. <laughs> And then going in with my brush and um, doing my foundation that way. It's a little tip. It keeps it really hydrated. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And it helps to um, apply the foundation on my face better. I like it. I'm there. Anyways, um, yeah. So working from home hasn't been too bad. Uh, I just think it's so crazy how quickly things are changing. I even look back at the beginning of the month. So his birthday, the biggest shift I saw was... Um, my husband's birthday was March 10th and I got him tickets to see Blue Man Group in our like downtown area um, and I will remember this day like I was all excited I had a dinner planned he didn't know we were going to Blue Man Group but I was so excited to you know bring him and everything and the show started at 7 and at 5 30 CNN comes on the TV I was at a bar um, and they shut down Disneyland stopped the NBA and then I got a, like a message on my phone and they shut the concert down because it was like you can't have more than what was it at that point 50 people in a space and then just each day from there I feel like something different has been going down and making it worse. I think another thing that was really a bummer for us was um, we'll be together 10 years this summer and married for two and we planned this big romantic trip. <laughs> my birds oh 
we planned this big romantic trip to Italy. Um, we were going to do Rome and Tuscany and wine tasting and all this stuff. And uh, those poor people, I my heart goes out to Italy. Um, it's so sad. It's so crazy. And uh, they just obviously, we can't go there. And it was beginning of May. I don't know. It's one of those feelings of, like you don't know what the beginning of May is going to even be like. We don't know. We don't know. So it's, uh, it's flipping weird. But yeah, we are not going to be doing our Italy trip the day they put the country on lockdown. I remember, it, it was like a Monday at 6 o'clock. We were watching the news. Or his parents called and said, you know, put the news on. And we were like, yeah, we're not going. Clearly, we're not going. And it's for the best because their country needs to heal and recover too. And the amount of deaths that these poor people are um, dealing with is just out of this world. It's absolutely insane. And it's really, really sad. And uh, when their country has recovered, we can't wait to come visit. I spoke with like the people we had rented Airbnbs from. And they were the sweetest people on earth. And I said, the minute it's safe again, we want to come back. We want to experience your beautiful country. Um, and they just wrote back, you know, it's so sad to see this happen. But we, as a country, we will fight and we will get through this together. And their attitude and their passion of figuring out a way to fight this pandemic was, it was really something. Um, I just, I feel so terrible for them. It's, it's really, ooh, it's bad. But now look at America. We're number one. So then from there, we were like, you know what, what are we going to do next? And I was like, well, why don't we plan a trip within the U.S. and like push it to the second half of May? And we tried that, and um, that was Hawaii, and now they're like, you can't go anywhere. So we're going to just not plan a trip for now. It's really depressing. It's really frustrating. Um, and we will regroup and see what to do in the fall. Um, I turned 30 this fall anyway, so it'll be kind of fun to you know go and do something around that time anyhow. Uh, but yeah, I just, everybody's in like a really bad space and it's weird and I don't know. We don't know how to handle it and I think we're being fed. I mean, the I think the worst thing you can do right now during this pandemic, and I, I'm not saying that I don't do it because I do it all the time, um, is go, it's going on Facebook. Facebook right now, forget it. Just forget it. It's... Uh, a dangerous place there's a lot of false information i make it a point to watch the nbc nightly news look up articles if i can just trying to be you know knowledgeable of what's going on i'm no expert but just trying to see what people are saying uh but yeah you have to be really wary on social media right now as far as that goes because um there's just stuff everywhere and it's scary i mean i feel like you know the media in a sense is really not heightened this it's a very it's a global pandemic but it's made it seem very um it gives people anxiety it gives me anxiety shit oh my god but um yeah so i think that's just where i am with that on a happier note things that i think i've been doing to really like motivate myself i've learned that i like miss doodling and coloring a lot so i've been doing like oh some cover. Um, yeah, so like uh, I have this old sketchbook. I pulled it out. I have all these like Prismacolor um, colored pencils that I want to go back and use. Just stuff to like keep me motivated. So I will say the thing about this is it is a beautiful time for reflection. I mean, in a day now, you can wake up and what can you do, you know, that would really feed your soul and help better you as a person. And it's going to take a minute. I can't say the first couple of days I was just kind of like, well, what's going on? And like, when do I go back to work? And then the next thing on the news, it's like, you know, kids aren't going to school till September, it feels like. And uh, it's always something. And I kind of just think uh, we have to weather the storm. I think the uncertainty part is the most stressful part of this all. It's happening, it's here, we should have done something about it sooner, but now that it is here, what are we doing to get on the other side of it? And with getting on the other side of it, like, you know, you're being told to stay in your house till April 15th, okay, that's Easter, that's in two weeks, and then we're being told, like, we won't get back to our normal lives till, like, July or August, like, which is it? What is it? Anybody know? That's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know, it's crazy. But I think it's a good time for self-reflection. I really like Zumba and yoga and Pilates. It's, um, 
you know, something that I've been doing on and off my whole life. Uh, I was taught Pilates at like a pretty young age and I think it's a great way to get your body back into things. So like every morning, drink a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and, you know, do a form of fitness that makes you feel good. You have to release those endorphins, right? And then from there, what's, you know, what's the next thing that makes you feel good? If I'm sitting on the computer and I'm doing work, I can doodle. I have a sketchbook. I can, you know, pick one cartoon on Pinterest and replicate that cartoon or something like that. Just something to kind of keep your mind going so you don't get in this like anxiety stricken, really sad state. Because I can, I can do that so easily. It's very, it's very easy for me. So I can imagine it's easy for a lot of people, right? So that's something I think I've really been doing is just what are the little things. Um, my husband and I really like cooking together. I think that's, you know what, hold on, hold that thought. I have to, I'm going to do my brows off camera quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Had to put my brows on. But as I was saying, um, some really nice things is we've been getting to cook at home every night. We really like cooking. So that's an opportunity for us to cook at home every night. Um, yeah, so just trying to find the positives in things. Real quick, um, I'm going to play with these Makeup Geek, the new shadows. Um, I think I want to do greens, that like olive green row here, and then mix in maybe like some of these browns. I just haven't gotten a chance to really like give these some TLC, so I just wanted to let you know what I'm playing with. Um, I'm going to zoom, do you want me to zoom you guys in a little bit on the eyes, just to be zooming? I will say in times like these, I am super, super thankful to have a dog and to have a companion, a husband, because I honestly truthfully feel for people that um would have to go through this alone that's just it's sad i mean at some point i think we're going to be in a full lockdown mode i really do like not just i mean the only like reason to go out is the grocery store kind of thing and if you go out for other reasons than that like you know are they arresting us kind of thing i don't know um, I think another thing that's really difficult is, is the weather. I think if you live in a nicer climate and you're able to go out and walk, that's bomb. Uh, I live in upstate New York where it thunderstorms, so I had to wait to start filming because it was thunderstorming. Like, it's just, it's not in the cards for everybody to have the weather on their side. So, kudos to you people that have the weather on your side. That's, that's, that's awesome. You know, um, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I've just picked up a green and I'm, like, throwing it in here, I guess. I guess we're just going for it, honey. Brows grooming right now. Forget it. <laughs> uh, I'm doing what I can, people. I'm doing what I can. Oof. My brows, you know, and I've and I've said it before. It's difficult, and I probably just need to like trim them, honestly. But they curl. And it's just a pain. Like you can just see them kind of like wisping and curling, whatever. This is my unruly full brow look. This is what you get. So that's that. I'm so excited to go in with this foiled shadow. Green foiled. So pretty. I'm gonna spray it just a little bit. Okay, that is pigmented, holy crap. There's also another color I really wanted to add, like a bronzy kind of color. I will say one exciting thing that has come of all this and um, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think my husband and I, it, it's promoted us to wanna start like a couple's channel that's maybe food and alcohol based. Um, you know, it wouldn't be up right away, but we've had a couple people say that to us before too. Like, you guys should have like a cooking channel together. You know, we love cooking together. I love baking. Um, it's definitely just a part of like who we are kind of thing. Um, love trying things, drinks, all that stuff. So maybe, I don't know, we, we were, we're really thinking about it. We have a name in mind. I'm not gonna like give anything away just yet because we're still like, you know, in the brainstorming process, but like, you know, some really cool things have just come from like us being home and having the opportunity to like 
sit down and talk together and formulate ideas and such. So that's been pretty cool. I think it is a slight blessing in disguise for me to just, or for anybody to really just reflect on like what's important, you know? I uh, I think it's really been like, okay, like I, I have this time and this opportunity to, you know, sit down every day, get my work done, and then what are important things that I can do from home. I also think that comes with the fact that I'm very blessed to have a two-bedroom townhome with computers and TV and Apple TV and cable and all these things. Like, I have resources. I have things that I can do to keep me busy. And, you know, I'm very lucky to, to have that. Because um, people don't have... Not everybody has that. Not everybody is going through this in, like, a comforted... I don't say luxurious, but in a, in a more comfortable state. Like, this is just a really scary, weird time. So many people are out of work and not sure when they can go back to work these poor kids oh god so i have two nieces they're um they're five and ten and just out of sorts not being able to play or do anything my one niece who's 10 my uh father her grandfather lets her borrow the cell phone every night so she can facetime me like just to be able to like stay in touch and whatnot because i think they're just they're just truly bored and i and i imagine that's not anybody's fault that they're bored. I know people are probably like, well, you know, you have to keep them entertained. You know, we have these wonderful teachers that do all this for us. And now, well, that's shot too for the time being. Um, yeah, it's just weird times. It's just weird times. But I think the number one thing for me would be like, I need answers. What are my answers? What are we doing? Like, how is this going to get fixed? When is this going to get fixed? Like, that's... That's what's killing me the most, I think, is just when can we go back to some normalcy? I don't want to keep planning pieces and parts and things in my life if they're not going to happen. I don't know. It's weird. All right. I did the other eye off camera. And I think I'm going to do a little wingy. A little wingu. A wingu. Whatever that is. <laughs> um, yeah, like, where was I? What was I talking about? I don't even remember. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lucky to have the resources that I have during this because I can't imagine. For some people, it's been difficult. I think my community has really been doing some awesome things. I live in a townhome complex, and every weekday, a school bus comes and sits at the end of the complex for a few hours and gives meals to kids that need it. I thought that was really lovely. Um, I had another friend of mine. She like sews and makes these really cute little makeup bags. And I was dying for a Harry Potter one. And then she was like, do you know anybody that needs makeup masks? And I was like, yeah, actually, like I have family members that would need them. You know, we have one of my nieces has, you know, chronic illness and masks are great if we need, you know, and um, so she sewed a bunch of masks. I thought that was awesome. I work for a theater company. And uh, the uh, costumes and props people are making masks for our local hospitals. Like, I've seen a lot of community come together to fill the gaps for what our government isn't doing. I said it, you know? Like, um, it's been amazing to see what people are doing and reaching out to make sure that, uh, you know, people have resources and people have what they need. It's, it's a scary time and it's a really unsure time. So it's been, it's been nice to see that. I can't believe how well I did on that wing while talking. I'm shocked, truly. The rest is another story, but yeah, it's um, it's been quite remarkable. You know, I will say something that's been really interesting. Um, my grocery store is, is literally just down the street. I mean, you can walk there. Um, another blessing. Uh, and you know, the whole toilet paper thing was just absolutely ridiculous. And there's only two of us in the house, so we we were not the culprits of the toilet paper hoarding and such. But um, one thing I will say is just uncleanliness. What is the word? Uncleanly. Not clean policy. People not being clean. I've never noticed it more. than I have being at the store lately. I don't need this for this, I don't think I do. Um, what is wrong with people? It's, it's nasty, it's really bad, it's really bad, guys. Um, and just things that you've really, 
I think become like hypersensitive and aware of now that everything's going on like I mean yeah you know the stuff here and there but like the guy that comes in the mask and the blue gloves and then he touches everything and then he goes back out to his car and then like touches his car like did you have those gloves on while you were driving here sir like because that doesn't help anybody and all those kind of things like people are just dirty or they're really paranoid not that this isn't something to take lightly but those gloves it, it's, it's not safe and now you've just transferred stuff to everybody and we're all screwed I don't know I, I've noticed that more um, nothing in the world skeeves me out more than a fresh produce section now I'll, I'll tell you that right now I I, oof, I don't know it's just it's not good it's really not good and uh, I went there I like to put cucumbers in my water like just cut up a fresh cucumber and I touched it and then this lady touched it and then Suzanne touched it next to me Nancy's over here touching the tomatoes um, and I'm just like oh my god I, we're all touching fruit and mind you while I am a huge advocate of making sure you wash everything when you get home wash it again I don't know that everybody is and it's just that is a huge way to transfer you know this this kind of thing I don't know it's just oh my god I was just freaked out to no end and I didn't even think about it until I'm sitting there and I'm like <clears throat> oh. it freaked me out I also thought it was weird the precautions they do take in the grocery store I don't know how you regulate something like fresh produce but like I know like the deli section for instance they had all their delis like pre cut their meats pre cut now and you have to get it in a different section and then like the bakery section um we're only doing uh like pre-packaged donuts and baked goods and stuff as opposed to like you used to be able to take like the tissue and grab like a fresh donut and things like that that's not happening anymore at the moment um but like the fresh produce is so exposed like why do we leave that exposed there's like orange tape on the grounds so you don't have like you can't um you can't go and touch uh nope what am i saying <laughs> they have lines on the ground so you can't like surpass the line for the next person and like the disinfectant process now when you're going to check out on the counter is huge and all these things but then like the fresh produce and i'm like this is a cesspool of germs and it's gross that's all. That's just where I am on that, girl. It's not good. It's not good. And it makes me skeevy in the pants. I think one thing this virus and this pandemic and the closing of things has taught me is that I do really like TikTok. I read I saw this meme and it was like these poor kids, all these adults done took over their TikTok and I was like, oh, that's me because I totally did. I mean, I've only done like a couple videos and I'm just having fun. I really want to get into like doing the challenges and stuff like that because again like you just have time on your hands and I think another thing is like when you don't expend energy you don't need to sleep as long in a sense so like I don't need like this nine ten hours of sleep a night and uh I just want to do things so I, I've started a TikTok it's been fun it's nothing like incredible I don't think you'll be moved by my videos but it's I don't know it's fun it's fun um hold on, I'm just doing my glue for my lashes This is ridiculous. Just get a new tube of glue. I won't give up. I won't back down. I'm no quitter. I finish things to the end. I don't know why I'm putting lashes. I'm putting lashes on to go eat turkey, sausage, and vegetables with my husband. And he's going to be like, mm, girl, you look good. Because that's all where we're going. Got to get ready to go to the living room. Got to get ready to go to the living room. Am I right or am I right, ladies? Men. Anybody. I was doing a full face, beating that face for the living room. Another thing this whole thing has done is a really, really feeding my Bath and Body Works and online shopping addiction. Um, this is more like a therapy session, I've realized. But um, yeah, I uh, I did way too large of an order on Bath and Body Works when they had a sale this past week because, well, what else am I going to do <laughs> um, besides that? So I ordered a bunch of stuff. I will say, you know, we have the cleanest hands in the business and we're using that foamy soap. I will say that. So, you better wash your hands when you're coming over, but no one's coming over. But if they were to come over, you were to wash your hands. That went on pretty nicely. Okay. Is it like, mm-hmm, that's pretty. 
These are the um, Graceful Full False Eyelashes by Makeup Geek. Okay, lashes are on. Um, let's do some bronzing. I uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what I was saying. You know what? I need to like dust this off first under the eye. These eyes are growing on me. Something about this wing is like making me mad. I think it's just me. Um, but it's bothering me. Whatever. Uh, yeah. So what's what else? What else was what else was going on? Uh, I'm trying to think. I've really been loving all the digital stuff. Like, talk about the digital age coming together to like, you know, make things happen with all of this going down. I absolutely love it. All the classes, all the um, the shows and such. It's really been um, stunning to see. It's very cool. I think it's been very cool. Um, and just a good testament to like. Again, communities figuring out like how to just get stuff done when the going gets tough. Like I know my job, uh, my full time job, we we figured out a way to you know bring the show to the people because we can't have people all sitting in a theater together. Like that's pretty badass, you know. So uh, I thought that's been I think that's been really cool. Um, it's really cool to see. I need a new bronzer. Um, I've been using the same bronzer, not the same compact, but the exact same type of bronzer, the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Ipanema Sun Forever. I have a mini of the Fenty Beauty one, like sitting over there on the table, um, that I haven't tried yet. But I, I gotta, I'm a creature of habit for sure. And when I get, you know, when I like something, I just stick with it forever. I will say I'm trying out some new blushes. I got these. Juvia's Place blush palettes. I was really in the market for some like new blushes. Um, so yeah, let's try these. Oh my god, look at these. That's this is the Saharan Blush Volume 2. So I opened two first, and it looks like these two here are both shimmers. Gorgeous. These are really pretty, and then. <laughs> I've never opened these. I, have, I mean, I just took them out of a box. I ordered them from Ulta. Um, these two look like they're shimmers. And then the, oh my god. This one looks a little bit deeper at the moment. I don't know if I want to go crazy on the cheeks. Um, oh, I always hit stuff on my table. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a mix of Tao and Yara. Let's see. Um. But as I was saying, yes, this is definitely fueling my online shopping addiction. And I will say the deals have been amazing, which is no help. It's like, oh my God, buy one, get one free on Sunny's and 30% off on Adidas. And um, it's just been bomb. So that's, and it's not helpful because I really should be saving money. But like, let's be honest, we all know that I have a shopping addiction. Like, it's not like I'm hiding anything here. Uh, but if, if the deal is good, get it. If the shoe fits, buy it. Life is short. And if there's ever a time to feel like life is short, I mean, shoot. Just buy it. Just do it. Um, these blushes are sensational. How oh, pretty. Mm. Mm. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay. I like that. That made me feel really good. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill. This is the Brilliant Luminous Powder. I love just putting this all over my face after I do my blush and stuff. And then adding my highlight. I love it. I love it. Um, yes, but if this has shown anything of uh, true colors for me, it's that I just, I still can, sh I still want to shop all the time. And that's not going to change for any pandemic or any person. I'll tell you that right now. I haven't gone crazy. I mean, do you guys want to see me do a Bath and Body Works haul? I can. It's candles and lotion and room sprays and all that stuff. Like, I'm happy to just like show you guys all of that. I don't see why. People wouldn't want to see it, what, right? Um, definitely tried to get some new fresh, like, spring candles and stuff. I will say, in my defense, I don't think I've ever bought a full price candle from there. That's just asinine. Um, you always wait for the big deal, and then you also add the 20% coupon on top of that. So I, I do save a good amount of money. Like, I, that's my justification for it. So, mm. um, yeah. So I will say that is something I've noticed is that I can't help but shop. I'm not going crazy like I got one pair of sunglasses and a Bath and Body Works order. Like stop. That Juvia's Place, that order I had from a while ago. Again, look at me trying to justify myself to you guys. I, I bought it. It's already purchased. It's done. 
deal with it. I'm actually going to spray my face on before I apply any highlighter. One thing that I think has been really helpful and I've really been enjoying, but it's not that fuzz on my face, is um, Zoom calling and doing happy hours with my friends. That has been a blast. I did one last night and it was an app and I can't remember the name of the app. Hold on. Um, do, 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 do. House party. And it's like a FaceTime app, but then we played games. We played like an apples to apples kind of uh, game called Chips and Guac and um, other games that I can't remember now, but that's been super helpful. We've been doing like the free Zoom calls. We did one last week with a group of friends and like my husband and I sat down in front of the computer and then made like a little cheese board. And then uh, I thought, oh, that was so cute. And then we like each had, like I had a cider, he had a beer and we just talked and caught up with our friends. Like you just have to make the effort to keep communicating with people. Um, and it really does, it does help quite a bit, I would say. Um, makes the time go by, you're checking up on your friends. It's good to see everyone's healthy and staying home. Uh, and it's and it's just something to do, something to give yourself to do. I will say shame on you people that aren't staying home and are socializing and making this worse for us and the curve not flattening and we can't go back to our normal lives. Shame, but I'm doing my part. And I think it's good like just to have calls and be able to connect and like stay connected with friends. I think that's been really good. And, I, and, it's, and it's cute. Like I know one night a group of my friends were gonna do like a themed night uh, and with each other, I, you know, just something to like keep us engaged and keep us busy. Uh, so I think we're going to do like a beach theme one night and then like a date night where you like have to get dressed up and like put some earrings on and, you know, everyone's going to cheers with champagne or whatever they have at home. Thank God that the liquor store is an essential store because it's helpful. It's just, it's helpful in times like these. I will say I have to do a lip. I have like a couple lip glosses, I have a lipstick. I think I want like a, just a liner and a gloss, honestly. Um, I was gonna say something else. I had something else on my mind other than the Zoom calls. And now I don't remember what that was. Mm, I don't know. Please leave in the comments down below what you wanna see me do next. I have some time on my hands, which is a good thing. Um, and I'll be happy to do stuff. I think I'm gonna go in the direction for a little bit of like a lot of challenges that I've never done before. Cause it's something different, it's entertaining. It'll keep me on my toes. Uh, as well as just some updated stuff. This is just a honeymoon lip liner from, I almost said from Macy's, <laughs> from Morphe. Um, I'm going to do that for the lip gloss. Oh, I totally had something else to say and it like slipped my mind and it'll, it'll come back to me, but shoot. What is this lip gloss? I haven't even tried this yet. This is Macchiato from Dose of Color. Um, oh, the best smell in the whole world. Let's see the lip gloss on me. Hmm. Hmm. really like nude it out my lips huh maybe a darker lip liner what's this one this is the Shayla BFF4 is that helping at all take the gloss off first I don't know Use ColourPop lip liners. <laughs> what a, oh my God, girl. <laughs> oh man. Very nudie gloss for my skin tone. Like it'll just clearly cut out all the coloring in my skin tone. So that lip liner definitely helped. Yeah? Cool. All 
All right, finished look, loving it. Okay, um, thank you for coming to my therapy session. I didn't realize that would be so therapeutic for me. Um, yeah, that felt good, that felt good. But that's just where I am in life. And I, uh, I ended up doing a really fun eye look and playing with some makeup, which makes me feel good. Thank you for dealing with my Corona glam. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what challenges you want to see. I think that's really something I'm going to hone in on and just doing like some updated skincare. I'll do my regular routine if you want to see it. I got a request to do brows. I'm just thinking of all these things in my head because, you know, I have a little bit more time on my hands. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Love and light. Please be safe. Please stay inside so we can get through this and flatten the curve and be done with this and figure out a way to maintain it. And uh, I hope you all are well. Thank you so much.